guys, welcome back to my channel. Some of you have been asking what's in my bag. You want to see what I usually run out of the house with, what is my essentials, and I love to do these kind of videos. So, I am honored that you would even ask or be interested. First of all, when I run out of the house, I usually don't have a bag. I just carry my phone and I have my credit card and my ID in here. That's it. I basically squeeze it in here. And that's it. It's not meant for that. You could get cases that have credit card holders in the back. I don't like that look, so I literally sacrifice that. I keep it in here and I just pop the case open and use it when I need it. Otherwise, I do want to show you if I was out and about and I knew I wasn't getting back for a whole day. Usually I have my car and I just go around town, so I kind of had a convenience. I don't really carry a big bag of my essentials because I am going back and forth. So I'm covered, but when I do, and that's when I'm going to the city and I need my bag, I need to put everything in there for what I would need that day, this is what I rely on. So I want to show you what I put in my bag and what I pack for the day. If you guys are interested, I did do a beach lookbook a few weeks ago and I did put what's my beach bag, the essentials you should have that you are covered, so you don't have to worry about, you know, missing anything important. Life is easier when you have all your essentials and you're not missing anything. So let me show you what's in my bag. So lately, I've been very into totes and I told you guys about it. So if I was to run out of the house, this bag goes with everything. And can you talk about this color? I did mention this in my collective haul. This is from H&M. I do have this in black and now they have it in tan. And again, it has this snap closure. The black tote has a tie. So this one actually has a clasp, which I love. I think it's gorgeous. It's um, as I mentioned before, it is more of like a canvas material. So let me show you what's in my bag and what I usually have. I recently got a new phone and they only had black, so I took it. And since I have black, I just got a black marble case. I think that's very chic. It's a no-brainer. It is a soft rubber. This is from Amazon, so I'll link it. I love this case. And when it does fall sometimes, it doesn't crack. So I feel like these rubber cases have something to it. Because I'm not into these outer cases, so I'm just letting you know. Um, I've been really happy with it. So. I have my phone and my essentials in there. Um, here I have my sunglasses. So my latest favorite sunglasses. I never have my glasses in a case, but this one came in a case. So I don't think it's going to last long. I'm probably going to have this out of its case constantly and just like in my bag. And then I might just put this somewhere in my room because I don't want to deal with this extra case. So I got this machine. It says Shein on top. <coughs> I'm so not like brand like... I don't mind going around with a case that says she in, like it's not a big deal for me. So I just found this recently, these glasses, and I love it. I told you guys that when I was in Primark, I found glasses similar to this. But this one is a little bit more sharper, the angles, and it is more of a shiny black frame. And this one really is more of a designer dupe, and I just love it. It's so chic. Again, it's more sharper at the edges. I did put this when I was styling one of my dresses. From my site, if you look at Freddy.com, I'll link it down below. I have a few dresses that came out from my line. They're amazing and you won't regret buying it if you look for something like that. So I styled it. My black polka dot dress I styled with this. It was so good. So I love this. I have my sunnies. And it's probably not going to stay in this case. But for now, it's there. Next, I have my wallet. I love this one. I told you guys about it when I got it from Amazon. I love that it's pink and it has a pearl clasp over here. It's not a clasp, but it's at the end here. Um, and you just snap it shut. It has a few compartments in here. So what do I have? I have my credit cards. I have a metric card. And I have my business cards. I think they're so pretty. It's a marble back and a pink front. For some reason, I'm so not good with these business card business. Like, I meet someone and I talk to them and I tell them about my site, but like, I don't give them a business card. I have to be more on top of that. So I have a bunch of those and I have some cash. And then, yes, I have some change right in the front here for the meters. Otherwise, this little handy little thing I love and it is so cute. It's like under 20 bucks. I will link it from Amazon. But next, I wanted to share what's in my makeup bag. I do use this bag also when I go to the beach. I should get two. I think I have another one. Besides the point, I got this from Forever 21. When I'm in Forever 21, if I need a little cute case, I always grab this from Forever 21. I have some essentials on here, just easier for it to stay together. First thing I have is my phone charger. I got this from Amazon, and for some reason I don't use it so often. And that is again because I'm in the car back and forth, so I do charge it when I'm in the car. But need be, 
I have this. So a funny story. I usually have those stick chargers and it's a little bit heavy. For some reason, I just like stopped taking it and wanted something lighter. And then I remember when I was collaborating with Mayor Kay and I was photographing for him and of course I was putting up some stories and it was dead my phone by the middle of the day and of course he was going on and on with his phone and I was like, oh, I need a phone charger. So he was just showing me. I knew about these phone chargers obviously but it just pushed me again that I have to be responsible, that I have to have my phone fully charged, need be, because if I want to continue my stories and I'm not charged, that's very bad. So. He had these kind of phone chargers. It is so much lighter and it's easy. You just plug it in for the night and then you have it for the day. So again, a phone case charger. My friends have it, but then when I saw it, that he had it, again, pushed me, right, I need to get a phone charger. And start adulting when it comes to like having enough power and not just being like, I'll see how long my phone charges and then whatever it is, it is. But I could have my Insta story game and be more active on it. So yeah, need this. Of course I have earphones, really important. If I'm on the train and I don't have these, you can't listen to music or you can't just see your favorite show. I don't see shows on the train, but if I just want to hear some music, really important. So yes, that's a must. Um, and then yeah, some makeup essentials. I keep it very, very essential. Like I don't, sometimes I would bring eyeliner, but my eyeliner stays the whole day, so I'm fine. I know I'll be fine. It's okay. I have my MAC powder. This one I got like two years ago, I get it every two years. Because this I use, if I just blot on my face, if it's a little red, if I have a little breakout, I use this combo. I have my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is literally the best thing for a drugstore price. So creamy. I literally, in the summer, if I don't want to really put foundation, I put some under my eye, around my nose, and then I just blot it with this. And the same thing goes with a breakout for that day. Every so often I do this method and literally it saves me. So. I rely on this stuff um, and then also lip color so it was very hard for me to find a nice lip color that's more natural so this is the one I'm wearing right now when I wear it constantly I mentioned this before this is the Milani a more matte lip cream this is in shade 10 in adorable Amazon has this I will link it again this sponge like applicator is so easy to use and it is a little pointed so it's really easy to apply just a little bit of it this saves me so I love that um, and I am not fancy. I don't have these like fancy small hand creams or like lip balms. Um, I take, usually when I have my travel packs, I take these little containers. Um, I put a little hand cream in here and not even hand cream. It's like a body lotion. Nothing too fancy. It works. It does the job. If it's dry, I don't really need it during the summer, but like sometimes my arms, if I'm tan, sometimes my arms dry up for some reason. I think it's very common. So I just like moisturize that. Um, I was in a scenario where it was dry because it was like a day after, like I have to be out in the sun and it didn't have anything on me so I make sure to have that. And then I have to refill this, I usually have some Vaseline for my lips. Um, I actually usually have an aloe vera lip balm and I highly recommend that. Um, again, <laughs> the beauty industry out there, there's a very good marketing team with all these like famous lip balms that just don't work for me, it still dries out my lips. So one time when I was in the beauty store, I was looking and for two dollars they have different kind of lip balms and aloe vera is very moisturizing. I'm like, what is there to lose? I have to try this. I tried it. It's very sweet and it's very moisturizing. Sweet because like when I put it on, it's like it's refreshing. I'm like, mmm, I love it. I have to actually get it and I haven't passed by the beauty store so I keep forgetting. But for two dollars, the aloe vera lip balm, it doesn't have to be a brand. That's what the ingredient is. That's what it stands for. And I love it. It's so good. I highly recommend it. If you're looking for something like that, it really keeps my lips moisturized. It's like literally a savior. I love that stuff. Okay, so what else? Okay, so I always have... I always have a little journal and a pen. Um, this, pen I got, this pen I got from Amazon. I want to be a little fancy. Like, why not have these gold ones? And not just these, like, ugly, like, black ones. I usually... I get... I usually get a pack of them and I lose it within the month. Like if I actually have a nice pen, it's not expensive, I'm gonna make sure to keep it. I'm not just gonna have it, you know, like, okay, I lose one, okay, fine. And like kind of take care of it and just like not keep losing this kind of stuff. So I have a little notebook. This is $1.99. I usually get it, again, from TJ Maxx or Home Goods. I think they're so cute. And I have to be more on top of really like, again, when I'm on the train to really figure out what I want for that day, what I want for the week ahead, kind of be more on top of planning things, come up with different ideas for content. I have to be more on top of that. So I have this, very important. Next, uh, so of course I have my keys. Um, I used to have a little keychain for my keys and if this was just getting me annoyed, 
But I wanted to show you usually you can put something like this so you don't lose them. It's hard to lose then. Um, this I got from Rainbow. These are so easy. My car is a Nissan Rogue and I'm really happy with it. I love to sit high. I used to have a sedan and I finally upgraded to like an SUV, like a Rogue. It's pretty much like that. So I love that. Um, a funny story. In my plate is Mwahaha. I think it's just hilarious the stories that I have. People passing my plates. I think it's so funny. The funniest story, hands down, is when I was driving and I'm on the highway and I'm getting off the bridge and I hear a beep and I, I look to the side and I see this like van full of nuns. They're literally covered all white and they're nuns and they're like, hey, and I'm like, hey, what's up? I'm like, what's happening here? And they're like, we love your plate. It made us laugh. And I'm like, that's awesome. I think that's hilarious. Like to make anybody laugh, whatever type of background you're from, that made my day. If I could make like, whatever. Enough said, I think it was hilarious. So yes, <laughs> love that. Of course I have a kind bar. Anything with dark chocolate and nuts is my go-to. You have to have these, otherwise you will die from starvation. Not good at packing food, so this is a lifesaver. Uh, what else? If I need be, if need be, um, I love these little perfume rollers. This one is from Zara. I had this for like a year or so. This is fruity. It's so fruity. I'm all about that. It's so refreshing. Yes, I love this. We got a lot of tissues from Dunkin' Donuts because I'm guilty of that. And then, yeah, then we just have a few receipts hanging around here. Like returns or just things I have to put in my shoebox. I keep my receipts there to make sure I don't lose it. Need be if I need to return it. And that's it. This is what I usually carry. These little essentials that I need for the day. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is my go-to tote again from H&M. I love it. I love this color. It goes with everything. So I will link it down below. Anything I mentioned that is in stock will be linked down below. And I hope you like that. Um, I think that's it. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye.